Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question add digits. So in this question, we're given a non-negative integer number and we need to repeatedly add all of its digits until the result has only one digit. So let's say we have the number 38. So over here, what we're going to do first do is we're going to add 3 plus 8. So we're going to do 3 plus 8, which equals to 11. Now we're going to take that 11 and we're going to add its digits. So we have 1 and 1. So we're going to add 1 plus 1 and then we're going to, that equals to 2. So once we get a value which has a single digit, we're just going to return that. So we get 2, so we're going to output 2. All right, so now let's solve this. And in order to solve this, I'm going to take two approaches. One is going to be our more intuitive approach where we're going to use a while loop and we're going to loop through it until we find a sum which has a single digit. And our second approach is going to be a more mathematical approach. And it's also going to have a runtime of big O1. Okay, let's, so let's see how we can solve this. All right, so for our first solution, let's see how we can solve that. So let's say we're given an input of 2,342. So our first step is going to be to add all these together. So 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2. So how can we actually iterate through each of the digits? So let's see how we can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a variable called sum, and it's going to start off with the value of 0. And then in order to get each digit, what we're going to do is, so we're going to do whatever our input's value is and do mod 10 of it. So we're going to get whatever is at the first digit. So in this case, we're going to take our 2342 and do mod 10. And then in that case, we're going to get a value of 2. So now we also need to change our input. And in order to do that, we're going to do integer division. So now our input's value is going to be the old input, so 2342. We're going to perform the integer division with 10. So in that case, you're going to get 234.2. But since we did integer division, it's going to drop out whatever decimals we have. And it's just going to round it down. So it's going to, our input is now going to have a value of just 234. So now again, we're going to take, so, and now we're going to take this number, wherever we get here, and add that to our sum. So plus 2. Okay, so let's just keep doing this until we don't have anything in our input. So now we're going to do 234 mod 10, which is equal to, which is equal to 4. Now we're going to add that to our sum. And then we're going to change our input value by doing 234 integer division 10, which is nothing but 23. So I'm sure you get the point by now. I'll just show you one last time. So now we're going to do 23 mod 10 which is equal to 3. Now we need to change the value of our input. So our input is going to be equal to 23 integer division of 10, which is equal to 2. And we're going to add this 3 again. Now we're going to add this 2. And now we have nothing inside of our input. So now we added everything. So right now our sum is equal to 2 plus 4, 6, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our sum has a value of 11. Now, so uh, as it is, we didn't get the value. But now we need to perform it one more time. So we're going to add all of its digits. We're going to do the same steps, but I'm just going to skip through it. So that's nothing else but 1 plus 1, and that equals to 2. And 2 is a single digit number, and we're going to return this. So this is going to be our answer. So let's see how the code looks for, for this. And then after we do solve it this way, I'll show you the more mathematical way to solve it. Okay, so our first step is going to be to initialize our answer, which is going to start off with zero. And now we're going to go inside for a while loop while our number is greater than zero. So this is going to, we're going to keep going through adding our digits until we have no more digits. Okay. So each time we're going to add the number mod 10 to our answer. So answer plus equals number mod 10. And we also need to change the value of our number by doing integer division with the value of 10. So this is going to keep going until we're done with all the digits. So we need to know if our final answer has a value has a single digit value and in the case that it does not have a single digit value we're going to go inside of our while loop again 
and perform the same steps for our new found uh, value, right? So in this case, that's only going to happen if our answer is greater than 9. So if our answer is not greater than 9, then we're done with we got our answer. If our answer is greater than 9, that means that we need to perform at least one more iteration. And the other condition is our number is going to be equal to 0. Uh, just because uh, when our number is equal to 0, that means that in the previous iteration, we went through all of the digits. So when these two conditions are, are true, we're going to reset the value of number. So our number now is going to have the value of answers. So just to be more clear, in this example over here, so we have 38. And after the first iteration, we're going to get a value of 1. Now we need to reset the value of numbers to that of 11. So now our, that's what we're doing over here. So we're just changing the value of number to our current answer. And we also need to reset our answer to the value of 0. So then we start off from the beginning. And we're going to get out of this while loop once our answer is less than 9. And in that case, we're just going to return our answer and this should be accepted. Okay, so yeah, it is accepted. And now let's look at our second solution. So I just found this online. Uh, so basically, uh, there's a rule. So these the numbers or what we're performing over here is actually given a name of something called digital root. So this is exactly what a digital root is. A digital root is when you keep adding the, uh, the digits until you get a single digit number. So there is actually a rule for getting this number. And that is, so, so what we're going to do is if our number is less than 10, in that case, we're just going to return our number because it's already a single digit number. And we could have actually, we should have done this for our previous solution as well, but it's fine. Okay. So that's going to be our first step. And now what the rule states is, if the number mod 9, so whatever our number is with the modulo of 9, if that is equal to 0, then in that case, our answer is going to have a value of 9. And if that is not the case, then we're just going to return what the number mod 9. So if number mod 9 is equal to 0, then we're going to return 9. And if that is not the case, we're just going to return the number modulo 9. And that should be our answer. So let's submit this. And this solution was also accepted. And finally, uh, just do let me know if you have any specific questions you want me to answer or if you have any questions regarding this solution. And finally, thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.